Jim, how you doing? It is Thursday, the 17th, and let's take a look at what we got today and tomorrow, the 18th. This video will serve for both days. <clears throat> we are going to start an evaluation of the source you found and submitted to us that we printed off for you. Uh, we're going to do an analysis of that. We're going to start today, Thursday, the 17th, and you have until the end of class tomorrow to finish and submit this. This will be done on paper, but if you are at home, you're welcome to use the digital version uh, to be able to do that. Uh, so let me go ahead and pull that up for you. And again, this is really exactly the same as yesterday's um, assignment. It's the same doc. It's the same look. It's the same everything, except you're using your source that you asked us to print off for you. Again, highlighting logos in yellow, pathos in blue, ethos in green, highlighting uh, those kinds of rhetorical elements, underlining the thesis statement and the supporting details, and then circling the area with the best argument. Again, like I said yesterday, you may have all three elements. You might only have two. That's fine. Okay. You definitely are going to have a thesis with things to underline, and you're definitely going to have a place with the best argument. Looking at the second page, again, this is the same page as yesterday. Name, you know, the title of the author, or the title of the article, the author. If there is one, if not, you need to list no, uh, uh, no author. What is the purpose? What is the author, article's position? Who was it originally written for? What was the author's expertise? What drew you to it? And then the summary. Um, the thing I really want you to take away here is that you are, again, going through that process and really digging into a source to see how it ticks, why it appealed to you, what made you connect with it, okay? I understand maybe it was the first one you found on Google, but you're going to have to find a better reason than that. It's yours now. You're going to have to do something with it. Uh, like always, please, if you have any questions at all, reach out to Ms. McGuire or I so that we can give you the help that you need. We definitely want to make sure successful. Again, we will start this on the 17th. We'll finish it on the 18th. Good luck, everybody.